Okay, we're going to look at buying terms. So when you're purchasing major items, many customers opt to buy on terms. Now, what does that mean? It means that you pay a deposit on the item. So maybe your item is a television or a stereo. So you pay a deposit, which is an initial amount of money, and then you repay the balance. Now, the balance is the amount that you owe the shop after you've paid your deposit. Now you also pay interest in equal regular installments. Okay, regular means that you usually pay monthly, but you might pay fortnightly. And the installments are the payments, right? So when you buy on terms, you pay the, the price of the item and you also pay extra money called interest. And that's how the business makes money because they're making extra money on top of the price of the item. Now buying on terms is also called higher purchase because you can think of the regular monthly repayments as a hiring of the item. Uh, now, if we buy on terms and fail to meet the, the payments, the goods can be repossessed. Uh, so they can come to your house and take away the tel television if you're not making the repayments. Uh, since you don't actually own the goods until they're fully paid for. Now, the interest uh, that you pay on the item is calculated using the simple interest formula. Okay, simple interest, it's also called flat rate interest. Um, and as we saw above, the repayments are called installments. Now, this will all make more sense once we do a question. So have a look, Sonia uh, purchases a new fridge and dishwasher package valued at $4,925. She pays a 10% deposit, repays the balance in monthly installments over three years. Interest on the balance is charged at a flat rate of 12% per annum. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question. We've got to find the deposit paid. Now the deposit is 10% of the price of the item. So we're just going to find 10% of $4,925. Okay, so all you're going to do on your calculator is go 10 shift percent. You're going to press the times button 4925, and that's going to give you 490,250. So that's the deposit you pay. Okay, now part B says find the balance owing. So the balance owing will be the cost of the item the price of the item, 4925. And you're going to take away your deposit. Now, the amount of money left owing on the item is called the balance owing. All right, that should give you 4432.50. Okay, so after you pay your deposit, that's how much you still owe the shop. Now, the next part, part C, is the interest charge on the balance. Now, if you come back to the question, the interest charge on the balance is 12%. Now, with buying on terms, it's a simple, simple interest formula we use. So now we're paying interest on how much we owe. So we're not using the initial cost of the item because we've already paid off 492.50 of that that price of the item so we're just going to take it from the balance owing here that's how much we owe so that's what we pay interest on so 4432.50 times r r is the interest rate which is 12 percent times by and it's over three years. So the time we put that into three years. So put that into your calculator and you should get uh, 1595.70. Okay. So 1000, oops, 1595.70. Okay. So just double check that on your calculator. 4432.50 five times 12 shift percent times three equals. Okay. Now, part D says find the title to be repaid. Now, 
the total to be repaid. How can we work that out? Um, well, you have to repay the balance owing for four, three, two, point five zero. So that's the balance owing. And then you've got to add in the interest that you have to pay. Okay, so the interest is 1595.70. Right, if you add that up, you should get $6,028.20. So it's the balance owing plus the interest is what you've got to repay to the business. You've already paid the deposit, so you don't have to pay that again. Okay, so when they ask you for the total to be repaid, that's what you're repaying. Okay, now what about the amount of each instalment? Now in the question, if you have a look, it says the instalments are monthly. Okay, and in three years, there are 36 months, three times 12 is 36. So that means you've got to make 36 repayments, what a repayment every month. So if this is how much you've got to repay to the business, then you've got to take that and divide by 36. Okay, let's do that. 6,028.2 divided by 36. Now, 6,028.2 divided by 36. Should get a 167, 167.45. Okay. Now, that's your that's per month. You're paying that per month back to the business. Now, what's the total price you paid for the TV? Well, this should be pretty easy, All right? If you go back to the question, obviously, you are paying. The four thousand nine hundred and twenty-five dollars, aren't you? Yep. So you're paying that back. The four thousand nine hundred twenty-five. So let's put that down. Four thousand nine hundred twenty-five. So you're paying all of that back. You're also paying the extra money. The extra money is the interest. Okay. So add that, and you'll get one five nine five point seven zero. Now, if you add that up. Okay, so you're going to go 4925 plus 1595.7. That's 6520.70. Okay, so that's how much you're going to repay to do that. All right. Um, now, there's a few ways you could get that last answer. I know that some people might have worked ahead. Um, the la that last answer, you could have also said, well, look, um, this is how much I'm repaying. This is the interest that I, and, the, and the balance owing that I'm paying back to the business. So you could have said, well, I'm paying this back to the business, plus I already paid my deposit. Of four ninety two fifty. Okay, that will also give you six five two zero. So uh, some of you may have done it that way. That's okay. All right. Easiest way to do it though is to look at the price of the item and add the interest that you're paying, and that's going to be. So if you look at the price of the item, plus plus the interest that you pay. That's an easy way to do it. Okay, last bit. This is called a deferred payment. Now, you might have seen this at Harvey Norman. Um, to attract customers to purchase goods, some stores advertise deferred payment. This means for a limited time, such as the first 12 months, you do not need to make any repayments, right? Now, the idea is that even though you don't have to make repayments in that first 12 months, you try and pay it off in that 12 month period since it is interest free. Now, here's the catch. Some people don't pay it off after the 12 months 
And if you don't pay it off, then they hit you with a pretty high interest rate, usually around 20% um, on your repayments after that. Okay, so there's a bit of a trap there. So for the first 12 months, you don't have to make any repayments. But if you don't, after that 12 month period, you have to pay a very high interest rate along with your repayments. Okay. Interest is calculated on the total amount of time used to pay them off. And so that means you're actually going to be including that 12 months in your calculations when you calculate the interest. Okay. So look, the, these are good plans. Deferred payment is good if you can pay the item off in that first interest free period. It can be between six and 12 months. Let's have a look at uh, first example. Ilhay and Robert buy a $1,200 barbecue on a deferred payment plan. No deposit is required. They pay nothing for six months and then pay 18 monthly repayments of $90. Now, first question says, find the total cost of the barbecue using the deferred payment plan. All right, now we know that the this is how much, if I had the cash, that's how much it would cost me. But in actual fact, the total cost that I'm going to pay is this. 18 monthly repayments of $90. Okay. And that will give you $1,620. Now, part B says how much extra did um, Ilhay and Robert pay? Now, that extra, by the way, that I would, I would prefer, prefer to put the word interest because the extra money you pay is the interest. Now, you can see here 1200 and 1620 all right, there's a difference there. That extra money you're paying, so let's work it out. 16, 20 minus 1200. That's your $420. And that is your interest. That's the extra money you're paying. Okay. Now, what interest rate did they have to pay is the next question. Part C, what is a flat rate of interest? Now, with these plans, it is a simple interest uh, formula that is used to calculate. Now we know that the interest is 420. There it is. That's the extra money you pay. So that goes where the I is 420, right? We know the principal, which is the initial price of the item was $1,200. Okay. Now the interest rate is what you're trying to find. Now the time, now let's, let's face it. Um, you don't pay anything for the first six months, but in your calculations, you still include that uh, in your calculations. So when I go back to the time, it says um, 18 monthly installments, but they don't pay anything for six months. So if you add the 18 and the six, actually the total period of which the um, item is uh, acquired is two years. Okay. So... We're going to put two there. Now 420 equals. We're going to times those two together to get 2400 times by R. And then last of all, I'm going to divide through by the 2400. Okay. And that's going to give me the interest rate. All right. So that cancels there. And you should get as a decimal point 175. Now to convert that to a percentage, you're just going to times by 100. And that means you, you'll get 17.5 on the calculator. And you just have to remember to put the percentage sign there. Okay. So the actual interest rate, that is a very high interest rate, 17.5%. Um, that's your answer.